If there are no questions, I would like to move to the second. Uh, we are in time, yes. We, I, remind, I remind to everybody here, to, to the participants, uh, if they want to, to, to make some questions to chat, either in the Zoom, uh, uh, in the Zoom window and uh, using the Zoom button or in, in, uh, in YouTube. And uh, so I'm going to present this, the, the, the second uh, uh, of this session. This uh, presentation of this session is made by Recep uh, Chakir uh, and, and colleagues. Uh, uh, rapid damage assessment in and around the city of Izmir by using NASA area damage proxy max, uh, maps. Case study for the 30 October 2020 Samos earthquake. Dr. Shakir. Um, yeah, so thank you for the organization committee and uh, uh, and then uh, Dr. Caputo. And I'm uh, joining the uh, this workshop from United States, Washington State. And it's for 30 a.m. around here, anyway. Um, so I'm gonna present uh, uh, this rapid damage assessments uh, in, around the city of Izmir we experienced during the, um, right after the main shock of uh, 30 October 2020 uh, magnitude uh, 6.9 Sam Samos earthquake. Okay, so um, the earthquake location, and this is the yellow box, is the mostly affected by this earthquake. And uh, here's the uh, small thing uh, showing that small picture as uh, the regional tectonics in Hellenic Arc, in Cyprus Arc, and then uh, Northern Anatolian Fault, and then uh, going to, uh, to the westward direction, and then speeding up here the abductions of those Hellenic Arc. Um, so in the, uh, even this earthquake, we knew I was, uh, uh, in the calls and, uh, communicating with, uh, Dr. Sosbilir and Dr. Altoon from EG University and Dokuzelo University, Izmir. Um, so we knew that it's all things affected all the way to uh, felt in, in Istanbul even, and, but in this zone, uh, was the case. Um, so this earthquake uh, area, and this is European database of seismogenic faults. Um, so these are the uh, Caesitrios uh, fault is already marked uh, in 2011 uh, by European, uh, in the European database of seismogenic faults. And that's a well predicted predicted one, even the magnitude, uh, maximum magnitude was 6.9 uh, moment magnitude. Um, so that's a 2011 prediction. It was known and expected and as well as expected for the surrounding faults and hoping these collaborations will keep going for these uh, next earthquakes and we will be experiencing uh, in common borders. And that's uh, well predicted. Here's the USGS moment tensor solution. And that's exactly in the fits of the, uh, what is uh, predicted in the database. Uh, here's the, um, the NOAA, uh, that's the National Observatory of A Athens uh, shake map. And I prefer this uh, better than USGS in more detail. Um, and so it shows that the uh, shaking directions in the valley areas mostly uh, showing there's uh, more shaking will be, uh, would be expected in this after the main shock. Um, so, and also I put the uh, AFATS um, and uh, the Republic of Turkey Ministry of Inter Disaster Man uh, Emergency Management, uh, the Department of Earthquake Data. Uh, that's the strong motion uh, uh, stations. Uh, that's the distribution of the pick ground accelerations. And then I did some uh, horizontal um, 
to vertical uh, ratios. And this uh, standing out as a 3.8 is the highest uh, value of the ratios. That's the horizontally uh, shaken, uh, well shaken place. Um, so it's expected to hear more shaking and uh, obviously nearby uh, epicenter and other shaking. Um, and then all others are distributed uh, in Iran. Uh, but so, and then another other products are uh, coming from USGS ground failure prediction maps. And uh, these are uh, very handy uh, maps. Um, and that's a completely prediction. And it says uh, something expected in the significant the limited uh, portion uh, for the look of action. And then um, and the landslide portion is in the limited uh, sections, mostly is nearby epicenters uh, is the, the high peaks. And then also is the southern end of the uh, Cheshma Peninsula and uh, southern coastal area in the Seferis are uh, mostly closer to uh, the epicenter area. Some uh, uh, landslides also experience. But this is interesting and the look of action in here is uh, highlighted more and uh, we'll see later in how that plays out. So another product that's similar way uh, like um, NOAA's uh, shake map and uh, USGS products like uh, ground failure maps and, and is a parallel. This might be the very handy one damage proxy maps and uh, released by the um, uh, uh, by the uh, Advanced Rapid Imaging Analysis ARIA team uh, at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, uh, California Institute of Technology. <clears throat> this map shows um, these type of imageries uh, show likely earthquake damage areas. And maps are available within a day or several days, uh, depending on the uh, how that uh, uh, frequency of the uh, image downloadable uh, of the radar images, mostly SAR images, and um, produced the uh, damage proxy maps from the SAR images, uh, this ARIA team, and to support the search rescue efforts and damage assessment efforts. Um, these efforts to use the DPM for, uh, we used uh, uh, in our efforts to this DPM images um, for the, uh, after the shock of the 30 October 21, no, 2020 Samus earthquake. Sorry. Uh, uh, so damage proxy map uh, came to us as a version 03. So that was the rapid one. And then later on, uh, ARIA team updates it and then uh, increases the, um, uh, enhances the imagery uh, uh, resolutions uh, to detect the uh, more uh, damages. Um, so it is available from NASA ARIA disaster uh, information portal. And the pre-event images used uh, were an obtained on October 18th and October 24th, 2020 after event. Uh, image was taken on October 30th, uh, 2020. So that was the lucky time. Uh, the the second uh, satellite passed uh, before and after. After one was just after the shock, main shock. Um, and also we did uh, a mapped in G or QGIS uh, these images and. Uh, uh, provided these images in the uh, portion, in different portions of the images and in the Google Earth uh, Pro environment and provided as a geospatial images based on the desired formats for reconnaissance teams. And they were mostly civil engineering department at the Ege University, Izmir, Turkey. And few uh, municipalities, we also submitted what we don't know how they used, uh, but we only know how the Ege University used this. Um, and also used the GER report by Chatin and uh, at all 2020 to validate these uh, uh, damage proxy map uh, prediction 
uh, damage prediction images. So uh, the ARIA team is uh, this, and uh, Sang Ho is the behind the whole uh, image provider uh, during the Samos uh, earthquake, uh, after Samos earthquake, and the uh, Jung Ho Jung uh, was another uh, person that uh, generated those images. But the ARIA team uh, manages leadership is in this group. And they provide, uh, uh, science data products like INSAR uh, data products, and then the other one, urgent response products, just like uh, uh, damage proxy maps. So uh, how damage proxy map images generated, the methodology is uh, summarized in this two uh, papers. Um, uh, this is in the, uh, sorry, I, where is disappeared? <laughs> Uh, this is SRL, uh, seismologic, Seismological uh, Research Letters uh, paper, and this is in press, uh, and this is coming out. And so simply is the, what they do is they take the complex uh, SAR images, uh, uh, most of Sentinel-1 uh, is uh, provided by um, ESA, uh, European Space Agency, uh, Copernicus. And then, um, so they take the uh, before and after the main shock images and closed images. And um, uh, then they take the complex image and SLC format and uh, convert it to, um, uh, okay, wait a second. Okay, so and then uh, they get uh, images and um, coherency images after that, uh, just convert the co coherency images and, and then those coherency images uh, registered and uh, resampled uh, to tie to before and after images and uh, differentiated and color coded and we get this uh, type of red dots and differentiated images like this. And these are the two versions of that. And this is enhanced image. Um, it shows some uh, more details. However, there are some false positives. Uh, where they may not be the um, damage, uh, damaged areas. So I uh, focused on the uh, Izmir uh, Bayraklı district and this is where that uh, the extensive damage um, happened and then loss of lives and economical losses was uh, tremendous. Um, so here's the uh, first image came out. And so we see those uh, red spots and they are showing simply where those uh, uh, damaged buildings are. And also in the vegetated areas, you see those um, uh, more red spots. They are the false uh, uh, false positives because uh, they are more vegetated areas uh, than the uh, than the li li living environment uh, in downtown area. And but here is uh, simply is the Sentinel C band is more sensitive to. Uh, vegetated uh, areas. And that's why we uh, recommend not to focus on these areas, but focus on uh, this portion. And this is a recommendation by uh, ARIA team. And so to validate these uh, images, if they are correct, and, and this is a great uh, report came out by uh, Chetina et al. Um, and uh, it's a well coordinated and uh, most of the uh, reports and uh, summarized well and in both sides of Greek side and uh, Turkish side. And so uh, the images will use that for both sides uh, and check the spots and how these um, and these uh, uh, damage proxy images are useful um, and in the area. So another um, uh, well-prepared um, 
report and mostly is uh, most detailed uh, damage assessment done in the Bayraklı Izmir area was uh, by report, report by uh, Republic of Turkey Ministry of Environment and Urban Affairs. Um, so, and they, their report is also online and uh, as given here, um, and uh, that uh, gives the extensive what the damage is uh, on the ground. Um, also, <clears throat> from this portion, the Izmir portion was taken care of by Rakhlu site, uh, taken care of by the, the government of Turkish government and uh, that damage assessment. And these are the ones, uh, uh, the outside of this area because it was restricted and most of the people and scientists focused on uh, other areas and outside of the Bayraklı. And um, so uh, these are gathered from the Chetina et al's uh, GR report and uh, also the, the Bayraklı areas uh, government report. And here's a Bayrakla district and the uh, uh, overlay on the um, uh, DPM, uh, the damage proxy map. And these are the red spots uh, we expected uh, the damage or collapsed buildings. And exactly it uh, covered those red spots and scattered around and uh, and then most of those uh, uh, damage uh, observed. So the stars from the uh, Turkish government uh, damage assessment team and uh, team report, and then uh, triangles from the Ege University uh, uh, civil engineers group, uh, civil engineering department group. And uh, so, uh, so this is the covering and some of those uh, enhanced images is still giving like false positive, but um, uh, most of the area captured by uh, this DPM images. And especially the most of those uh, collapsed and uh, images can killed uh, about 117 people uh, is in this areas. So I tried to zone these, uh, the green uh, portions are showing the, uh, the first uh, version of the um, damage proxy map. And then the second hatched uh, white ones are, is the uh, second version, enhanced version of that. So it's only uh, this portion is uh, not captured and except a few of the high de highly damaged uh, structures, these are actually light uh, damage uh, reports uh, came out. So the yellow stars and yellow triangles showing the light and then um, pink ones uh, showing the uh, moderate damage uh, buildings but the purple and red ones is highly and uh, collapsed building, highly damaged and collapsed buildings. So it's a uh, pretty good except this portion. And I'm not sure if there is any one check that, uh, but according to government report and there's no damage in this area. However, I checked a couple of, I lived in this area before and I checked my relatives and um, a couple of apartments. I saw these uh, in the Borno section and that's called Charshu uh, section. And I called uncle and then I said, if there is any damage on their apartment, because I saw a couple of spots of red spots in nearby their apartment. And uh, they said that was collapsed, uh, uh, not apartment, but some collapsed walls near the apartment and covering, uh, surrounding the apartment exterior. So that they were not also reported. Okay, so uh, here's the Bayraklı district and here's that uh, the look of faction prediction map by released by the USGS a uh, few hours after, um, uh, after the main shock. And here's some, uh, uh, some spots 
uh, from the uh, damage proxy map. These are red spots we can see um, and showing like uh, a heavily and a good amount of uh, uh, look of action expected here. However, there's no uh, ground or checkpoint and done in this area. And uh, if there is one, I would be happy to have it. Uh, um, so the other thing is in this uh, area, so here's the Izmir and here's Seferisar and then here's that uh, Gulbache. And then um, there is a university, it was Izmir, um, a high tech university. Uh, and few people went there in the check and then uh, it is a soil settlement or lateral spreading and look of action, I combine them. And here's that uh, look of action observed. And exactly the, um, uh, also uh, USGS uh, look of action prediction map shows a uh, few uh, patches in this area. Uh, also, I have a few uh, red spots from the damage proxy map from NASA, um, but uh, it's not uh, dominant or prominent in this, in this area uh, to say this is a, a lateral spreading or look of action, some surface uh, change happened. Um, so here's the slope failure observed and then we saw a uh, few uh, good uh, scattered around the, uh, some damage proxy map highlights. But here is another one. So what that means is there is on the road uh, between the six days of uh, gap in the images, uh, it might be uh, something like road construction and side road constructions. And, uh, but in this area, uh, there's no road construction and this is open area and possibly uh, we can uh, put a sus suspicious location in that and to look and check after the earthquake. These uh, look of action and landslide or uh, post earthquake uh, maps are critical in, uh, in this area. Um, and uh, so we can, uh, we have to document and all um, the post earthquake uh, cases because they are called perishable data. And uh, if you uh, speed up in this after earthquake, post earthquake reconnaissance efforts, and that will be uh, ideal uh, to capture all of those um, and uh, as early as possible before the people uh, cover those and or fix the uh, the uh, the look of action or uh, useful data. And here's the landslide uh, prediction map. And uh, we can see some of those uh, spots are really well, uh, shown and detected by the uh, uh, damage proxy maps. And uh, here's the false uh, positives and uh, mostly is the mountain or vegetated areas. And here's the some uh, areas uh, we have some uh, uh, damage proxy uh, spots. And so it's a uh, closer to uh, epicenter area, the landslides, uh, and that's the surface deformation is uh, changes and, or change detection of this uh, type uh, will be picked up uh, by this damage proxy map. So it's the zoomed area and you can see it's covering well in this area. And another show and um, so this is a uh, landslide prediction is the landslide probability and the values. And here's the displacement map uh, from again, uh, uh, NASA ARIA uh, group. And you can see that the high displacement uh, in the Samos Island in this section. And then, uh, so I got this displacement map and then um, other, uh, 
report uh, by uh, reported uh, locations. And here's the soil settlement, and here's the some rock falls, uh, detachment in the rocks, and here's the slope failure in this area. And then um, here's the zoom to the Samos uh, downtown area. And uh, uh, so it's a well covered in this uh, DPM image also, uh, and it's the look of faction reported. Dr. Chukir? Yes. This time is, you have one minute. Okay. Thank you. So uh, the tsunami, tsunami also in the Sajik region, uh, and here's the, another spot. And uh, so the, this NASA Advanced Rapid Imaging and Analysis uh, team produced uh, uh, these DPM showing areas in Izmir, uh, Turkey that were likely damaged from the earthquake and publicly released DPMs that highlight areas of pot potential damage. Uh, these are publicly released. Uh, anyone can reach those images. And NASA ARIA DPM can be good supportive satellite imagery product for damage assessment, but requiring uh, a practice and good coordination prior a big earthquake and for emergency response operations. These images may be used as a aid for assessing direct economical structural losses and uh, uh, DPMs can be used as a guidance to identify damaged areas. Uh, as seen on the displacement, um, the western part of the Greek island of Samos moved upward by as much as 10 centimeters. The map can be used as guidance to identify areas significant ground displacement and look of factions and landslides rock falls were detected in Samos Island, mostly they are uh, nearby, uh, nearby the uh, epicenter area. USGS landslide look of action model maps released a few hours after the main shock can be well predicted by adding DPMs or vice versa. And DPMs showed uh, some good correlations with uh, USGS look of action predictions in the Izmir Bay area, but one observation report in this area and DPMs are very reliable to detect uh, damage levels of high collapsed uh, buildings, high, uh, da highly damaged and collapsed buildings in densely populated areas and to detect the ground failure, uh, look of action and landslide rockfall near the epicenter areas. And tsunami inundation zone is observable in Sajik south of Izmir and also uh, DPM gives some images on that. Thank you.